You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Bold the Beautiful fans. We've got a comings and goings update of sorts. Eric Forster is dying. When will John McCook exit the Bold and the Beautiful? Let's talk about this. So B&B totally skipped over giving us Eric's diagnosis, and instead they leaped ahead to give us his prognosis. If you don't know the difference, diagnosis is the illness you have. Prognosis is how they expect that it's going to go for you, like if it's going to be fatal or if it's recoverable and treatable. Prognosis is very very important. And Eric's prognosis is not good. In fact, it's a death sentence. They revealed on the Tuesday, October 24th episode of BNB that Eric's condition is fatal and he's got at the most six months to live. But the doctor and Donna are both worried that this fashion showdown could quite literally be the death of him. So when is Eric going to die? And when is John McCook's last air date on BNB? We're going to unpack all this for you, but if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our BNB updates. First, I just want to say up front, I really, really hope that the lack of a specific diagnosis means the door is open for them to say he was misdiagnosed and whatever he has is not fatal and can be treated. If not, I suspect Bald didn't give us a specific diagnosis because they don't want fan criticism saying that condition isn't fatal or why aren't they trying this treatment? You know, my brother had that and he lived for five years. You know, the kind of thing that we as soap fans like to debate and discuss and the soap writers hate us for doing it. So I think they're being obtuse on purpose. Second, I want to mention, I've been telling you guys for weeks, John McCook absolutely did not sign a three-year deal in September. That is fake news that originated from a foreign site that saw a 12-year-old article from soaps.com, misreported it as new content, then a pile of trash tabloids picked it up, other foreign churn sites picked it up, and then two formerly reputable, because I'm kind of on the fence with them now, formerly reputable sites decided to report it without a source and then blame it on other shady sites. It's just, it's all BS. Lean into this story. We might actually be losing him, guys. So that being said, I do not want John McCook to leave. I am really, really hoping the lack of a specific diagnosis is a glimmer of hope for us. It doesn't look good right now on Bold, but they don't want it to look good. They want us worried. They want us stressed. The tremors in his hands are not good. He had a little memory lapses. Coughing up blood is never a good sign of anything. And what's really weird to me is that the symptoms, the tremors and the coughing up blood, they don't seem like a condition that springs to my mind or that's coming up easily when I Google those two symptoms together. So I definitely feel like it's deliberately vague and that has me hanging on to hope for Eric Foster, Forrester or the inevitable realization that the writers were either too lazy or too scared of fans to write a real illness. Time will tell which one it is. So there's also a tidbit about Eric Forrester possibly collapsing at the fashion face-off. In an interview with Torsten McKay, who plays Ridge, and John McCook, who plays Eric, they were asked by a fan that had tweeted a question, if Ridge and Eric would have a physical fight causing Eric to go to the hospital. And Torsten said, Eric's going to the hospital because he doesn't take care of himself. And then John said, too many martinis, that's why. So I I wonder if they were confirming he's going to collapse at the fashion show or if they just weren't laughing at the jokes they were making because other there was no laughter until John said too many martinis. So I'm still wondering about the outcome of the show. And the bottom line is as of this week, Thursday, October 26, we are in November sweeps. And Bald loves to do up sweeps. Plus, B&B has been known to pull off some epic shockers that blindsided us. When Sheila Carter turned up alive in 2017, Jaws dropped. In 2015, when they revealed Maya was trans, that blindsided viewers. Back in 2005, when they brought Taylor back from the dead, people come back from the dead every now and then on soaps, but that was a big stunner. So yeah, Bold has pulled off some epic surprises on us. 
It's entirely feasible that we could see Eric collapse at the end of the fashion showdown next week. I am very curious if the doctor's warnings are legit because he said doing this work might literally kill Eric and that would be one hell of a way for Ridge and the rest of the family to find out that Eric Forster is sick. That being said, even if Eric collapses at the showdown, I just don't think that they would up and kill him off in one episode. If they did, I would be utterly gobsmacked. I would be stunned. I would be blindsided. That being said, on a few occasions, once every few years, bold does shock me. So the soapier and sadder thing, I think, would be to write it out for a month or a couple of months and have Eric Forster pass away peacefully like they did with Susan Flannery as Stephanie Forster if they are indeed going to kill off the character. After all, Steffi Forster is back next week, so that means a lot of the families around, there's still some, you know, some strays that are not, but they could bring them back. I mean, alternately, they could just flat out stun us and have him collapse and die right as he wins the showdown because I'm confident he's going to win the showdown. I'm totally team Eric in this fashion battle. But again, what I really hope is the case is that maybe Dr. Colby realizes, oh, one of the tests wasn't run right, the equipment was off, or your sample got switched with somebody else's, something like that, and come back and say, okay, this is still very serious, but we have a treatment plan and it doesn't look like it's fatal, like we said. We do not know for certain, nobody knows for certain right now if John McCook is exiting as Eric Forster. Things look dire. And I'm certain that Bold and the Beautiful wants us all bawling into our tissues, worried he could go at any moment. And you should be worried because that, again, McCook doesn't have a three-year contract. He absolutely could have decided he wanted to retire. He's an older actor, you know, and he he's 79, I think, and he's been on that show forever. It's understandable if he wants to retire and if he did, that they just might go, okay, we're just going to kill you off at the fashion challenge. And he might say, cool. One thing we do know is that he does last at least through the fashion showdown. We know that so far. And once we get the official B&B spoilers for the week of October 30th through November 3rd, the full roster, I gave you guys early edition spoilers, but the full roster of them, maybe we'll have some inkling of what's going on and whether his health takes a sharp decline, just as Dr. Colby and Donna and Katie now worry it will. Or if we'll just see standard spoilers like Eric's basking in his victory, you know, Eric hangs out with RJ. So we'll know more once we get next week's spoilers, but... I'm on pins and needles. I really want him to stay. But after what they said, it's like, uh, but then I don't trust Bold. <laughs> I don't trust them in either direction to, to not shock us or to shock us. So I, I'm on pins and needles. I hope you guys are there with me. Drop your comments below. What do you think after hearing his prognosis this six months or maybe much less to live? Do you think is Bold really going to kill him off? Let me know what you think in the comments. Click a like if you enjoyed this. I know it's a terrible thing to enjoy. Enjoying the discussion, enjoying us talking about Bold and the Beautiful here. And if you haven't, click subscribe. Please do that. Drop your comments below. I think we're all worried about Eric and this death sentence he seems to be under is, is stressful. I am going to keep my tissues nearby because I'm a little worried. What do you think? Is Bold going to shock us with a misdiagnosis or shock us and kill off Eric? Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for showing up every day to talk soaps with me. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>